Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com. Today I'm going to show you a few different ways to use the horizontal weekly layout in your Amplify Planner. First, I'm going to show you um, the tools we will be using today. This is a stencil from the Hibonacci Techno Planner. You can get it on JetPens or on Amazon. This is the Pigma Micron 01, also available jet pens, Amazon, uh, Kawhi pens. And then I have the usual um, mild liners in this Sunstar Deldi case. And there's a link for each of these items in the comments. I'm also going to have on hand a Scribbles That Matter thicker marker, uh, just in case I decide to use it. I haven't really decided yet. So for this first one here, this is the um, March weekly kit that's available in my shop. And as you know from seeing it in my shop, you can see I've already done a few layouts to give you some ideas. Uh, this is the first one I'm gonna start with, the morning, afternoon, evening layout that I did already here with the stickers from the shop. And then it's a real simple matter of deciding what's gonna constitute afternoon, then evening and morning. Um, and do you want any tasks? Um, how I'm gonna do it is, for me, afternoon is going to be like 12 to five. So 12, I'm gonna do it in military time. Okay, and then we'll go over here. I'll make evening from five to nine. And then we best fill in morning going backwards. So morning will be eight and seven. And then you have the top here. So you can take your three most important tasks for the day, if that's the kind of thing that you do. And you can just have them bullet pointed from one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. This allows you to break up your day into the three most important tasks that you're gonna complete and assign a block of time to complete them. And then you can go ahead and add in whatever you're going to do during the day. So, you know, maybe this is breakfast here, 7 a.m. Um, and then maybe you have, you know, your day job here. This is your lunch break. And then maybe this is dinner here. And then you can break these down even further into like your meeting here. However you want to do that, you can do a meeting like this. You can do, there's a different way if you want, if you have a meeting from let's say nine to 11, you can do these little dots here, which is something I do in my dailies. And then just do a line between them. And do meeting. However it works for you, you can also use your, um, highlighters if that works better for you and say oh, okay that my, my um, soccer practice for my kid do they even do soccer anymore I don't know um, in COVID world yeah that totally smeared because this pen is not the best for highlighting that's why we have the pigma but we'll say soccer practice you can just do soccer practice like that If you don't need to necessarily do timekeeping, what you can do is um, the way I have the layout set here, these stickers also in the weekly kit. Your tasks for the day go here. So we'll just lay out our tasks. This is important. This I just leave for like one super important task or super important event, whatever it is. So let's say it's someone's birthday, so we'll say, Okay, and then your appointments, you would just do your appointments at the times that you have them. So for example, if you have a nine o'clock meeting, just do nine to 11 a.m. meeting, and then say one to 2 p.m. also meeting, and then it was six to eight, soccer. And then you just do your tasks here. You could do meal prep, 
If that's a task, do the day, groceries. Because I always do my groceries the day of my meal prep. Um, other tasks you might have, you know, like laundry, you know, whatever. Just do your tasks out like that. And then, like I said, the most important thing goes here. Whether that's, oh my god, it's someone's birthday, or oh my god, it's my kid's soccer tournament, or the most important task that you have to do today. You do that that way. Um, here, this is where we're going to start getting a little bit more creative. These bars at the top also fit vertically. So what you can do is just keep track of the most important events in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. This is where we're going to use our stencil here. I'm going to do it, leave one block, come down from one block from the top, try to center it as best as possible. I'm going to draw my little clock face here. And drawing my little times a day here. They also have on jet pens a stamp, so if you'd rather use stamps, you could do that instead of doing drawing in these little clock faces like I'm doing. Um, it's kind of up to you what is your preference for all of this. Um, I'm going to try and keep these lines centered here to make it easier to line up later. But this is this is for like a, a, once again, if you only have a couple of things going on, maybe once in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, that you need to focus on. You could just do it this way. So we'll do our clock face for morning, clock face for afternoon, and then a clock face for the evening. And these little lines on this on this stencil really help line it up. So, and you're like, what the hell are you doing? Well, let me show you. And we left that top bit open. I know I didn't line this one up exactly like I did those two. Mistakes happen. And so he said there was a meeting in the morning. And there's a meeting in the afternoon. And there's soccer in the evening. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead in with my highlighter and see the meeting was from 9 to 11 a.m. So here's your center, 9 to 11. And let me just color that in. I clearly didn't let my pen dry enough. Which is why I don't like the stamp, because it takes a while to let that dry. So I don't use the stamp on it as often. And then, oh, we have the meeting. Our meeting in the afternoon was from 1 to 3. So here's our center. 1 to 3. And then we had, I said soccer was 6 to 8. That's a long ass soccer practice. I don't know why I said it was 6 to 8, but we'll go with 6 to 8. So from 6 to 8 is your soccer practice. And like I said, this is a really good way if you're a creative person or a very visual person to just do a very visualized, these are my things to do um, that are time bound. And then if you have your tasks to do, you can add those in in the morning, like in the morning we have meal prep. And then we'll go grocery shopping after work. And then laundry after soccer practice. And there we go. And then if you had another task, you could just add your tasks down here. So you could set it up that way. Another way to use this that I have set up with the stickers already is same thing if you only have one very important event going on all day, we're just going to go in and throw them in morning, afternoon, evening. So in the morning we had a meeting, 9 a.m. 
And then in the afternoon, 1 p.m. meeting, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I know this schedule now. But I wanted to use the exact same schedule every day so you can see how the different ways work. And then we had a 6 p.m. soccer practice. And this way also allows you to use to add in this method of um, planning as well. So if you have more tasks than you do appointments, your appointments are here. And then you can just go through and make your task manager here. And so if it's like prep a report for that meeting, you can do that. And then if it's, um, let's see what else, set the calendar, okay, you can do that. And then if you have to do dishes at home, there's that, um, you know, tidy, tidy room, etc. all your tasks. And then the most important thing, which would be, let's say, remember snacks for a meeting. Okay. So for Thursdays, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna count out 12 of these squares. 12 and 24, make a 24 hour timetable here. And if you've done bullet journaling before, you'll totally know where I'm going with this. Or if you've looked at bullet journaling videos in the past, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know what she's doing here. Three. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to use our highlighters to make up our schedule. So we said 9 a.m. meeting. Actually, I have Weight Watchers on Thursday, so we'll do our 7.30 a.m. Weight Watchers meeting here. Or WW, whatever the hell they're calling it these days. Workshop. I know I've ranted about it before, so I won't rant, rant about it here again, but you know how I feel. And then we're still going to go with the same schedule we've been doing for the rest of this week. So we'll say here is our meeting. AM meeting. And then we had our PM meeting. Let me just make it here. I totally didn't put in a lunch or um, breakfast, put in, well, let's, let's just say our PM meeting is our lunch meeting or something. We'll put in dinner though before soccer practice and then we'll put in soccer practice. Okay. And we will color code those. Like so. And then we're just gonna go ahead and highlight in those times. So I, my workshop was, I think, 7.30 to 8. It usually goes a little late and I have to be there by seven. So I'll make it seven to 8.30. I'm just gonna color that right on in here. And then in my AM meeting is 9 to 11. So we just do this whole 9 AM to 11 AM. All right, then we have our PM meeting from one to two. Oops. Okay, and then we had our dinner. We said it would be like five o'clock-ish, probably 4.30 to 5.30 because you have to drive to soccer practice, right? Or be late. And then we had that set six to eight soccer practice. Okay. So that way, that 
way you can see at a glance what the times are. You can even write in the times, the start time if you wanted. So 7.30, 9, 1, or 4.30, 6. And that gives you an idea. You can actually see where the time's blocked off. Some people like to really plan out their whole day so you could block off when you were sleeping and have a color code for, I was sleeping until 6 a.m. So let's just say this is sleep time. And then we'll say from 10 how that would look. Another method I'll show you is very similar to this method, um, but you don't need to use the highlighters for this one. So I'm going to actually use my big thick one. And there isn't 12 that go, I think there actually is 24, so we'll just give it a shot here. We'll start here, we'll do one, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Close enough. Um, can make the zero zero. Beautiful. All right. Do your numbers across. So what you're going to do next is you're going to use your ruler or template like this to put in the different things that you're doing. So for example, we'll do a line here at 7 a.m. Right? A little dot here, a little dot here, we'll call that breakfast. This is a Sunday, maybe you're the religious type person, so maybe you have some church at 11. That's when my church, when I used to go to church, that was when church always was. So, just say here. And if it's a specific period of time, like 11 to 12, like that was my church's thing, we usually got done at like 11, 12, 30-ish, um, you would just go down here to this line, a little dot here, make your lines across, and that would be your church. And you just go up here and you're just going to alternate your events as you put them on the calendar. You can also make it so that events that start at odd times go up or start at even times go down. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Right? And then let's say you have like your book club in the afternoon. I had a wine book club that used to go three to five. So three, so I'm doing it alternating events to five. our book club. All right, and then we have dinner at six. The other thing you can do also if you want is you can actually color that in. So if you're going to be sleeping from here to here, you could, I didn't use the marker that you can color in with, but you can also just highlight like this. Call that sleep. And then we say from 10 to 6. So also sleep. And if you don't want to highlight it or if you're using markers, you can just go ahead and outline your times. Like so. And this allows you, much like the other method that we did, to see what times you have left in your schedule. So if you were scheduling like a play date for your kids or scheduling like a meetup that you wanted to go to or an exercise class or anything like that, you now know, oh, okay, I have between this time and this time that I can do that.
So then your schedule looks something like that. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really allow for tasks, but it does allow you to kind of maintain your schedule. So, and then finally, the last way that I'm going to show you is kind of a hybrid of the clock method that also will allow you to have a longer task list. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our clocks. Again, we're going to use the micron because we want to make sure that we have plenty of time or we can highlight, I should say. So we'll come down here. I'm going to line this up to make my life easier when I'm drawing it in. Right, all right. One clock. Yes, we're doing two clocks. Flip it. Line everything up. Right, perfect. And then we do these over here. My little dot in the center. And then we'll do this one over here. Okay, two clocks. Dot in the center. And then we'll say morning and evening. And then we're just gonna go ahead and color code that in more like we did with this one. So we're gonna add our color code or our key, if you will. We can call it events or timeline or time key, which is what I'm calling it because that sounds kind of cool and sci-fi-ish, right? So on our time key, we will have gray be sleep. Get all my colors in here. Breakfast. We'll just make that meals, right? So we'll do this is sleep, meals, and we'll say soccer game. And we'll say reading time. And we'll say a meetup. And then we'll say chores. Okay. So all the things we're going to do that day. And we just go ahead and assign them each a color. We've been assigned, they've been assigned a color, we're going to just put them on our clock. So here's midnight, this is morning, right? So from midnight till 6 a.m., let's say 7 a.m., or let's say 8 a.m., because it's the weekend. I'm sleeping in on the weekend. We'll just make this our sleep time. Doesn't look super cute, but that's all right. Okay, then we're gonna have breakfast. So we'll say that's eight to nine. And then when else are we gonna have our meals? We'll have our meals from let's say one to two because we had a late breakfast. So one to two. And then let's say dinner will be from seven to eight because we had a late lunch. Okay, all of our meals are on there. Now we can go ahead and say, oh, the soccer game. Our kids' soccer game is going to be from like 11 to one, let's say. So we need some drive time, so I'm going to say 10.30. And then this is noon. All right? And then we're going to have some reading time. So once again, a little time for drive time. And then let's say I wanted my reading time to be from like 2 to 5. Just give myself some time to read my book club pick for the book club the next day, right? Okay. And then we're going to do a meetup in the evening. So let's say that's 8 to 10. Right. 
And then that leaves us with time for chores during the day. We can do chores before the soccer game. Chores after book club before dinner, especially if dinner's a chore. And then we could even do chores here. We could have more reading time there, whatever. So now we see how our day is planned out, color coded, it's kind of cool. And then we have our tasks for the day, All right? So you have tasks. Since we're this is chores day, we can put down what our chores are, such as let's see, dishes, laundry, vacuum. All right? And then also we're gonna say read pages, let's say 100 to 200 of our book, all right? And wash soccer uniform. Okay, and that would be how that looks. And that's how we would use seven different ways to plan our day using the horizontal layouts. Of course, if you really hate the horizontal layouts, there's always the vertical layouts. There's a free download of the vertical layouts at the Amplify website. You can also go to my store, erwplans.etsy.com, and there are vertical stickers that you can use to cover this with a vertical layout. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. New videos usually go up Wednesdays at 7 a.m., so if you subscribe and the videos go up late, you'll get a notification when the video does go up. Um, we're no longer gonna be doing mini videos on the channel. To get the mini videos, you have to be a Patreon subscriber. There has been major life changes for me. So um, please go over to the blog erwplans.com. Check out today's blog post uh, so you can kind of get an idea of we've made some major changes to Patreon, to the Facebook group, and there's just a lot of announcements, a lot of life stuff going on. So uh, please go check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week and enjoy the next video.